Coach, I'm sure it's uh, an excitement level for you to, to make the jump, to come over to Youngstown State. Just how exciting is this for you in, in your career? Uh, it's uh, it's really exciting. There's no doubt about it. And I, you know, I, I thought about that before I made the decision. And then, you know, running into people all over town, uh, you know, they just kind of remind you of how important uh, Youngstown State is and Youngstown State football. And, you know, I get reminded about that every day. And so it just kind of adds, uh, adds to the excitement for sure. I'm sure that a lot of people wondered why you know why you weren't in college ranks before that. I mean, how much of it was you know seeing your kids graduate, and how much of it was just this opportunity? Well, uh, that's a good question, but um, it does seem as though that I've been asked that quite a bit, uh, especially the last few years. I guess maybe since Mike, uh, you know, has had some success out of Arizona, and two brothers, you know, coaching in college, well, two head coaches, and another one as a coordinator, it has come up a lot more recently. And uh, so I guess it's made me think about it a lot more often. But, um, you know, the timing was just right. And um, I never, I really did not anticipate this. I, you know, it was important to me to, uh, you know, see my kids through, through uh, high school. And, um, you know, we've, my wife and I, we've, you know, deep roots here. And, you know, it would be a lifestyle change to, to pick up and leave and the uncertainty of it all. And, that was never for us, but uh, this this is a, a you know altogether different situation, and what I consider to be a perfect situation, and so uh, you know we're all really excited about it and looking forward to it. The word tradition has been brought up a lot, uh, returning the program to the great tradition of, of years gone by. Uh, as a staff, and from what you've seen, how confident are you that this program can get back to? where it was well you know I'm, I'm I'm confident you know again you know not uh, familiar with the league and the competition I mean you know so uh, there's there's going to be uh, you know a familiarity I need to get familiar with all that but um, I think you know I've grown in confidence um, you know one from coach Wolford uh, two from the quality of staff he's been able to put together I think that speaks volumes uh, about him and I also think it speaks volumes about Youngstown State uh, these guys realize, you know, what the expectation is and what the standard is, and you know, mediocrity is isn't going to do it, or or we might not be here, and so you know, everybody embraces that. And uh, uh, hearing all these people talk, who have a lot of experience, um, they feel like everything uh, is in place here. The commitment from the university, the commitment from the administration, uh, the head coach that we're going to get a chance to work with, and the kind of players we'll be able to recruit. The facilities that we have here are, uh, you know, better than just about everybody at our level, and uh, as good as a lot in the uh, FCS level. Or do you expect the staff maybe to look at you a little bit more because you've been here, you know, the local talent here, and and you kind of have that inside knowledge? Well, they look at me when it comes time to pick a place to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I've been able to give them a lot of good advice that way. So far, so good. They they seem to be uh, really excited about the choices around here. And, and how friendly people are around here. Uh, as far as, you know, maybe when it comes to uh, local talent, and uh, we certainly intend to, you know, go after local talent. I think that's evident by, by the first class that we brought in here. Uh, but, you know, we need to obviously have a, a broader, you know, uh, perspective and area to recruit from. And these guys, uh, that's what's so uh, refreshing. I mean, these guys are real professionals. They've been at this a long time, and they, they have a lot of connections. You know, they may come from Kansas or Illinois, but they, they, it's amazing to me the people they know in Ohio and the high school connections they have. But, so it'll, it'll be a joint effort. Does the change kind of re-energize you or kind of re-motivate you in a different way maybe than you haven't felt in a while? Yeah, I, I'd say that that's definitely true. You know, it, it, there's a certain anxiousness and anticipation, you know, and been in high school 30 years and, and you know what to expect, you know, and uh, you have a certain comfort level and so on. So the newness of it all, you know, uh, stepping up into the college uh, game, you know, there's things are, are, people are bigger and it moves faster and there's a, there's a definitely a, an excitement anticipation. It has energized me, there's no doubt. We're on director of high school relations. What does that entail? What will they? Well, that would be, you know, we, we realize how important it is to develop good relationships with the local high school coaches. And, you know, we had a uh, chalk talk up at uh, the DeBartlow room just a couple, a week ago, and uh, we had 60-some people show up. And so making phone calls, uh, you know, making people aware of that, helping to organize that, 
we'll have a coaches clinic uh, March 19th here. We'll have more of our coaches speak. But just to sort of coordinate those things, um, make sure, you know, if there are issues or local high school coaches want to come to practice or in a meeting room or talk to the special teams coach that they can do so, help in those areas. Juggling teaching still at Boardman coming down here. I know you haven't gone through it yet, but mm -hmm. you can handle that? Well, hopefully I can <laughs> handle it. That, that's certainly the plan, but so far so good. And I have been coming down here, you know, after school and weekends. And, you know, I, I do have a, a great job at, at Boardman. And, you know, everybody understands how important that is to, to them and to me. And, uh, you know, we seem to, we, I think we have a, uh, a good understanding and a relationship. And, you know, Youngstown State and Coach Wolford understand that as well. So, you know, it's part of the arrangement, and uh, I, I think it'll work, yes. So the car goes down market, doesn't go over to south. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, I just go a little bit further down Market Street these days. Is it nice to have uh, people at Boardman rooting for the team they're coaching for now? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Joe, that's, that's a good way of putting it. That was always a tough situation. I have a lot of good friends there, and I... You know, support the, the players there and you know, enjoy their successes for with them. And um, but but you're always feeling divided, and um, you know, so I, I don't have to worry about that anymore. We've kind of asked the coaches this week. What about Coach Wolford? You touched on it a little bit, but what about Coach Wolford stand up to you and make you believe that you can get this thing back to where it was? Well, I, I think things like energy. I think things like passion. I think things like confidence. Um, you know, he's been around uh, for, for, you know, a good while, and he's been around good programs, and I think he knows what it, ta what it takes. He's, he's, he's a people person. You know, people like him. Uh, players like him. The recruits like him. Their parents like him. Uh, you know, the assistant coaches enjoy being around him. And, he, he, you know, and I think that's the most important ingredient. Uh, but, but he's a, you know, really it's true that he's a, a tireless worker, you know, and, you know, he's been putting in, you know, long days from the time he took this job until till now. And, uh, you know, you put all those things together, and, and this said, uh, with the facilities we have here, the commitment from the university, uh, the kind of staff he's been able to put together, you know, we know that it's been done before. And, uh, you know, there's the, all those things give us confidence. And, you know, there's no reason why, why it can't be done again. Brian, what's the biggest change from, from the high school to the to college at this point? Well, uh, the, the, the time and the year round, you know, as an assistant coach in high school, you know, my, my off-season duties were very, very limited, you know, and, and so now, you know, it's year round and, uh, you know, come down every day and, you know, and t taking messages and following up on a recruit and, uh, you know, evaluating tape and then moving into spring practice and all of that. It's just, it's just there's things to do, you know, almost 12 months out of the year. Now, that's the thing I've noticed. I, you know, you know, the playbook uh, is a little bigger, it's a little thicker. You know, we've had the good fortune of, of using a lot of those things. You know, I've had some good resources available to me, you know, in my high school coaching career. So that's not, that's not all that, you know, different, really. Uh, as I said, the players will be bigger, things will move a little faster. Uh, you know, a few different, you know, wrinkles. But it's, it's really, you know, just managing the time, 